Hey everybody, Asher here, back with more Star Traders Frontiers as we are going to dive into the game. If you missed episode zero, it goes into character creation and kind of the opening salvo, the very first bits of the beginning of the story. But we are in our own home base here. As you can see, this is kind of a screwy layout. But we'll, I'm, I like talking about the systems in context, but this is a kind of game where there are a lot of things I need to go over at the very beginning. Like if we look around here, uh, I think I only see one wormhole exit, which means we're at a dead end somewhere. This is not the thing I wanted to push. Said I played this game before. No, we're not at a dead end. So I missed one somewhere, but you can see we have some various places, but right now we're kind of in a mining area. So that's interesting. The M, the I on all these things mean different things and that can change over time. Uh, other things we need to know from the very get-go before we jump is that our clan has some dif diplomatic things right now. Uh, it's wrestling for economic dominance or trade bands against each other. So this is a faction, the Thaloon, that we need to watch out for. And then we have an alliance with the Rickhart. So we're trying to build support here and apparently you can win an alliance. Apparently the uh, Makalumna clan is not doing so good in either of these, but when you can barely pronounce the name of your group, I guess that's an issue. Now this industrial place is highlighted because it has where our first mission, our current waypoint is going to. But we're not necessarily going to check this right yet. We have a few other things to consider. First off, here's our whole crew, and this is why I said in the last video I'm not flicking on the uh, manually assign things, because that means we would have to click and assign things for stuff for every single one of these crew. If you're a min-maxer, by all means, that's the option for you, but I don't want half my videos to be clicking through all of these upgrades, although we're going to get there eventually. But here's uh, Captain Zitabiski, her character sheet. As you can see, the attributes that we have, the skills as well. Traits and background, Gagarius and quick to make friends, gain 20% to learn a rumor when spicing, and plus three charisma. So those are all very good for a trader. And uh, let's see here. Let's learn a talent from a job. We have a few various things. And there's some really interesting choices you can make with talents eventually. There's two talents that I really like to have at the start here. One is Wise Counsel, which automatically passes a failed negotiation test in any situation. Has a three-week cooldown. That's, that's very powerful. We also have market confidant which adds up over time when making a trade at an exchange worth over 5,000 you have a 10 percent plus charisma chance of gaining an introduction to a contact from the local federation so this will help us build contacts over time but we're not going to be making these big money trades first so this is probably going to be my next talent that i i wise counsel is what i'm going to start with because we want to pass these checks as they come up early you can snowball really well or not too well but and you can see she has plus three charisma as well so already 33 charisma we're gonna have some good stuff here now we have our various other officers our doctor with a giant sword i love that madness and then we have allure mcgee or avler mcgee i can never tell if that's a u or a v thanks font who's our quartermaster and then we have our engineer lee loose so totally not the fifth element because there's an s at the end there and for some of you that's a really old movie i have to think about that for a second fifth element probably my favorite movie or one of my favorite movies of all time also i'm blind because there's our two wormholes right there cool we have one warning right now which is we lack enough skilled gunners for our ship's weaponry we are understaffed by two gunnery keep in mind that that does not mean we are understaffed two gunners that means if we look at our skills we are down to we'll catch up with that leveling up for our gameplay we have some weapons and stuff but we are trying to avoid conflict as much as possible here so what else can we do we have one mission right now and if we look around the star map and we could use the uh, star atlas as well it's going to give us the exact same information we have all kinds of icons but if we have our cargo bay we might as well use it here let's go ahead and start by going to the planet that we start off with which you can see is has two areas that are controlled. We have a uh, huge molten world of standard Atma, which that's interesting. We have a wilderness area we can explore that is indie freedom from anybody. It's actually not super dangerous and has some interesting stuff here. We may actually want to do exploration here eventually, but we're, we want to lock in on this trading. We do have one of our contacts here. So if we look at the various things from manifest port, 
They have a very strong economy, which makes sense because they have the trade bonus here. They have a crappy starport, pretty good government, uh, uh, govern or scope and confidence of the leadership is pretty good. Not a lot of spice. Trade law seven of ten, which we'll get into what trade law means in a little bit. And the population is pretty good. So we're going to dock here before we do anything else. This is a space station. So there are various things we want to consider at the space station. 16 for fuel. Water. Water is your fuel for all this because we're in the future. Um, we can do that, but this is important to keep in mind. They don't have repairs. They don't have upgrades. This is the spice hall. The spice hall is very important because there's a lot of different things that we should be able to do in a spice hall. Like paying wages for people, that's how you level up. Very much a might and magic kind of thing where you pay and stay at the end and level up. They have a doctor as well, which 22 medical supplies means that if our entire crew is injured, we can't treat any of them. But their spice hall is too weak. Their recruits are too weak, so screw them. This is the most important place. We have different items to trade. Some of these are legal, some of these are uh, not so legal, but we want to pay attention to where we're going to determine what we're trading because I want to be able to make a trade kind of right away. And if we look over here, we'll, as we visit places, we will get more information on what's in demand or out of demand. So hydrogen fuel, methane fuel, we have uh, 1,200 or 12,000 credits right now. And that's good. Can we bump it up a little bit more? Now, if we look at the map here real quick, not that map. Not that map. There we go. That is back out this way because I'm dumb. Okay, our first waypoint is we have dogs and cats going crazy in the background. That's amazing. It's not just an industrial place. Well, it's a Kadar industrial. So interesting. It's not necessarily the place where our trade permits will win out at the end. But since we know we're going to an industrial planet, what we can do, we should still be docked, guys is that we buy things that are in demand in industrial places. This is one of the big mistakes I made when I was first playing the game is that I wasn't paying attention to what's actually in demand. And we want things that are both a good price flip to turn around as well as a good margin. And you can see, see here that the ratings are just, we don't want to follow the ratings blindly just because fuel is very good. We can't, we only have 75 cargo space, so that's not as high of a profit. As something like synthetic food which we can buy 25 units that's still that's still good enough I'd say so I'll buy 25 of that and uh, we can get 50 units of either of these this is a slightly better profit margin for hydrogen and fuel there's no guarantee that it's gonna be good there but we do, there are other things we can get but once we start getting down here maybe eh, we'll, we'll trade some of these things later but yeah the, for, for the first place that we're going we already have a full cargo that's fun and we have a politician who will offer us missions as well. So, hello, Prayer Kinsei. You can see we have a personal rep of 10, faction rep of 10, so effective rep of 13, which is pretty fun. We can hire a new diplomat from him. A diplomat's actually going to be very important to get later, but we'll see kind of what happens there. Because right now, we're, we're at really, really the beginning. But I still want to see if he has any good missions available. One important thing to keep in mind if you're playing this for the first time, pay attention to the current mission bar up here. It's not exactly hidden because it's at the top of the screen, but it's not highlighted super well. This could be bigger. But proving your character, you star traders are quite new and you're an unproven captain. So for now, I only offer the simplest of missions. I like simple. Now we don't have to take this one. We can even possibly pick another one depending on here. But we can do one-way shipper or spice merchant escort. So, one-way ship for uh, 13 astronomical units. Apparently, uh, we, we really like our Earth units of measurement here. I'm going to do the one that uh, is more like more one-stop pay. Because we have a dignitary waiting in open arms to welcome the spice merchant. Let's go ahead and take this one. 31 weeks to get this done versus 28 weeks. This is fine. We're going to be exploring our home system kind of first. Now, another important thing to keep in mind is if you look at our ship here, one reason I like the Galtech Cruiser is because it has an improved passenger bay. Where is the passenger bay? It's somewhere. It's luxury quarters. Well, I'll look at it in the dry dock in a minute. But we do have quarters here, room for 24 crew. We have a bridge here. But we also are able to hold three people. Other ships you start out with only get one, which means you got to be really picky about who you escort. But we're, we're good here. So I think we're done at this space station where we started out with. 
so let's go ahead we have our waypoint set and we can explore the barren place later but another thing i want to do is just go ahead and fly 10 minutes into this video and we're flying actually a better thing than i thought here we do have enough fuel for a hyper jump but i don't think we're hyper jumping this episode so here we go down here plunk no events in the actually running into anybody else but we can see here is a small oceanic world of uh, ultra dense atmo apparently so good economy much better starport very strong military more spice so we can actually do some of the other things here nine out of ten trade law not my favorite but here we go automatic things story from last time is that we're meeting estelle brockstrom here many welcome star trader that's what we're doing on our mission arbiter estelle brockstrom it is an honor there's our captain captain zabisky indeed captain uh Cal or prince callahan fane promised that he had dispatched a new but promising star trader to pick me up I understand you have recently come to ownership of your Star Trader's charter. That's the truth. My great uncle perished during an exploration expedition last year. Oh, well, that's some fun background, I guess. I was picked from among my house to take over the charter and fly the stars. Then you know the magnitude of both the responsibility and opportunity that now rest on your shoulders. Galahan has asked that you personally escort me to his court. Prince Fane has great trust in your potential. He knows that your career will reap great profits for both yourself and clan makamune so this is where we get some conversation things that are all very fun and exciting you can find you'll have to find someone else so we reject the mission it's your money i'm sure we could cut a deal if the money's i'm sure you cut a deal. flattery won't get you very far with me arbiter let's be polite prince fairn's trust is well founded that's pleasing to hear callahan has always been a superb judge of character i'm sure there will be more work waiting for you at the prince's court so there's some questions we can ask her as well. What work are you doing on this world? Let's start there. I'm an arbiter. I am a roving hand of Shalun Law. When the legal cases or disputes are extremely complicated, I'm often called in, or in this case, sometimes when something is very dangerous. A factory in this faction holding was caught producing highly illegal substances, large-scale weaponized nerve toxins. So I was assigned by the Senate to oversee their destruction. I can see why. With something that valuable and dangerous, you worry the substances would be quietly sold on the black market while being reported as destroyed. Exactly. Having an arbiter on hand ensure that no such mistakes were made. So who's creating the bioweapons? Figuring that out is someone else's hands. But there are concerns that the uh, Cher Legroth, I'm sorry for mispronouncing all these things, cult may be involved or the indie revolutionary group called the Huna. So, we can do this. Uh, let's talk about specifics of the escort. I need passage to the court of Prince Fane. Direct passage. I'm in a hurry. I'll offer a flat fee rate of 10,000 credits for the passage. It's better money than you can get elsewhere for intra-quadrant travel. That's true. What do you say? Of course we say yes. Excellent. I love money. We'll join you in the starport. I'll pay you promptly upon arrival to Callahan's world. So, we have accepted the mission on behalf of Arbiter Brockstrom. We should finish any, any business we have in this zone and plot a course by visiting the missions list. Now this is all kind of tutorial stuff. And I have played this a little bit, so we're not exactly going to be going in the order that's contemplated. But the nice thing about the story in this game, unlike some other strategy games, is that you can kind of go off, divert, and come back to it. There's a lot of points that don't necessarily need to be time-checked. And that's very important because if you just do straight through the story, you're going to get crushed pretty soon. But Starport, what can we do? We can buy water, 13 for 31 water and fuel. You don't want to run out of fuel. We don't have any repairs. We don't have any upgrades we need to do, although I can show you luxury suites here. I don't know why they didn't show up in the other thing here. So, room for three passengers, five shielding. You're going to see me accidentally click that one a lot. Spice Hall. Now, like I said, you can pay wages or go to the doctor, and you can see 24 medical supplies are kind of your different things here. We can also go get the spice and give people entertainment and things like that. Or we can find new recruits, which we do want to recruit uh, some people from some of our contacts eventually. But for now, we, we have what we need, other than the exchange. So, you can see we get some small profits, not great profits. Do we have anything that we can buy that would be pretty good? Clothing is a pretty good turnaround. Pop, mining, refinery, or luxury population zones. That may be better to try and get in on some of this. Let's see where our next waypoint has us. Oh, we're going to get more story first. I know if your officers and crew are giving me sideways looks since I settled in here. As is Indo, I'm used to it, but perhaps I, I, yeah, but perhaps I can answer some questions to help settle your people. So, we can ditch these questions, so I think it's more polite to ask. Um, let's see. You're a Zindu, but I would have never known it. 
Can't you see it in my eyes? No, not really. Should I be able to? No, not actually. Forget my poor attempt at humor. We Zendu don't look any different than humans. What makes us special is not physical power. It's our access to genetic memories. So, genetic memories. That looks fun. How far back can you look in your memories? It's never easy to explain lineage memories and those not of Zendu bloods. Well, you did offer to answer questions. Thanks, Zedabisky. I would be interested to hear you try. I don't remember the time before the memories. They just start when the Zindu were young. We strengthen our recall through meditation, pattern, exercise, and ritual. There are subconscious muscle memories always guiding my hand or step. And then there are visual remembrances of voices that come forward on their own accord. Trying to consciously look back, seeing something is difficult. Digging for something, trying to remember the Guild War, for example. That could even be dangerous. But my lineage is always there. So what else do we want to know? Okay. Are there many Zindu left? There are three remaining Zindu sects. The Arbiters, which is part of the Agurs, or Argers, and the Templar Knights. The Arbiters spread the working, sp are spread thin, working across many quadrants as servants of the law. There have never been many Agurs. They serve in the great courts of the High Princes. I need to look up to see if that's a hard or a soft G. And the Templar Knights, they have a long born the brunt of the troubles of our people. Please tell me they're not like Jedi. Uh, they've always been on the frontiers of the Guild War. After the Exodus, they bled in to protect the new colonies, but perhaps the Alzean campaign cost them the most. But now is, not, now is the time to rebuild if the Quadrants could only find a moment of peace. So there's some backstory. This game kind of breadcrumbs you more backstory. You kind of got to put your ear to the ground or to the stars and figure it out from there. So you're going to be able to help Prince Fane. I'm going to ensure that Shalun Law is followed to the letter. I thought you said you and Callahan were longtime friends. Ah, uh, don't get the wrong idea, Captain. I'm not going to be Callahan's court to trade in favors. My sole responsibility is, responsibility is enforce the law of our prophet Shalun as documented in the Accords. May the flag watch over his grave. So we all have important work to be doing. Well, we will get you to the Prince fame promptly, Arbiter. That's cool. So one thing that we're going to see here first off is where's our waypoint? And please freaking tell me it's not going to be all the way across. We have 29 AU. Is this actually going to the same place? That would be lovely. Uh, Riverton and Riverton. So we're actually going to the same place. That's lucky. So we have 51 weeks to do this. We have almost a year to do this, but we'll do it now since it's all going to the same place. And it's it's a mining area again. And you can see this is just an orbital station. They all have different little icons here. Farm, mining, very important to pay attention to where you're going next. So, is our cargo in demand in mining areas? Not really. Well, hydrogen fuels demand in mining. Well, maybe we can get a better price for it. Because right now, if we look back at where we were before, we're not getting the greatest profits of all time. Let's check our landing one more time here. Like, what can we buy? Water purifiers are in demand in mining areas. Clothing is in demand in mining areas. So yeah, let's try this. We're going to sell this stuff. It's not a great profit, but it is a profit. And this is why I didn't take that other ability early. to uh, Because we're not necessarily going to be making big trades. They're going to spike our stuff up super fast. We have 44 units and 30 units. That, that fills us up close enough. So you can see here, we're, we're at 2,000 credits right now. So we are, we are digging in really close. I could even take medicines over here. I can buy one medicine. Sure, why not? 2,000. We're almost broke because we're star brokers. Ha ha. All right. So all you got to do is space bar and to fly into space. And you can see right away, we have unexpected compartment damage, dangerous ice build up in the airlock. So we have failed tests, succeeding tests. These will work themselves out as we level up. Oh, our doctor's failing all the time too. So these are all little things that come up as we fly around. Oh my God, our crew's like dying right now. That's amazing. All right, so we have, okay, we have people talking. I don't need that right now. We have one crew member's uh, unpredictably low morale, so I hope we don't have a deserter right away, but we have uh, some unhappy crew, that's to be sure. Let's land. All right, it looks like they've rolled out the red carpet for your Arbiter. I think this is for Callahan, but it has the effect. Estelle, yours is a face that I've worn of tired eyes. Now his eyes look crazy and a little squinty. And Captain, many welcomes. Thank you for escorting Estelle here safely. Greetings from the stars, Captain Prince Fane. I did not expect such pomp from the Starpro. 
You've been waiting for your arrival, Estelle. The mess is progressing. It has sped up, not lost steam. We have much to discuss. Let us retire to the palace. Star Trader, you've earned my gratitude. I have high paid work for a captain of your caliber. Come and visit my court once you've settled everything with your ship and crew. Thank you, Prince Fane. We may take you up on that offer. So we've gained a moderate amount of experience spread across the crew. We've gained five rep with our faction and ten rep with the prince specifically. And off they go, says Mr. McGee. The, uh, the prince seems very interested in getting Arbiter Beckstrom's assistance. And Captain, the prince's starport uh, commander gave us 10,000 promise and a 2,000 bonus. Hold up. One Fane has stuck around. Many welcome, Star Trader. So there's Zet Fane. It's a pleasure to meet you. I am Zet Fane, the prince's sister. Let me extend my brother's warmest welcome. So what do we got here? Uh, do, 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 do. I want to learn more about the uh, legal case. What legal case that Brockstrom has come to observe? The bombing of the Highwind Military Orbital? Surely Estelle told you about this. Uh, is this the Thalen Research Facility? I've heard it in passing. It was. Estelle must have told you. Callahan's daughter, Valencia, has been charged with the terrorist act of destroying the Highwood, which is completely ridiculous. She went aboard the station for a scientific meeting. Well, I, I've read this sci-fi story before. Uh, let's see. What idiot would plant a bomb at the same time? Not Val, but Estelle hasn't spoken to you about it. You really don't know? Then the Arbiter is not going to help. Did she say anything like that? Now, I could lie and say I don't remember. We could try and talk her softly and say I'm sure she'll help her old friend. But I'm going to tell the truth. She said she would do her duty as an arbiter to the law. She'll curse her arrogance. The Fane family needs her assistance. By the flag. Yes, we do. The loss of life in the Highwood alone. It's not a legal battle we can stand to lose. If it comes to that, they will demand Valencia's life and retribution. And the arbiter would just stand by. Just like the Void, retribution justice has no mercy. If the damages are great enough, the loon could be granted a duel of assassins against Valencia Fane personally. I hope we will see you in the palace, Star Trader. I must be off. So, we pissed her off with bad news, but hey, good news, everybody. We can get some money back, but the very first thing we need to do is to go to the Spice Hall and go visit the doctor. We have 14k left. Wow. We have 19 supplies and we have 15 crew that's actually injured. Gross. So, we used up most of your medical supplies. Congratulations. Uh, quadrant news, spice halls and hubs are information, and malicious bombing of the House Lynn Orbital Research Station. That's the thing we just talked about. So, here's our morale, our crew dog. We want crew dogs to be very happy. Here's our per diem. We want spice plus entertainment. We have 25 available, 22 available. We really want to get his morale back up. I don't want to be losing crew this. Jesus. Okay, well, I hope you're, like, spiced out like crazy now. So that's fun. Pay wages as well. You can see we gain character level 2. And if we were not automatically doing these things, we'd have a uh, lot to live for. But Starport, we do want to give ourselves some more uh, fuel. But that kind of sucks. And all of our repairs. And look at this. We're down to 10,000 or less. So Spice Hall. Pay wages again? Wow. What? Okay. Well, I guess it's because refueling took time. Anything else? More, more morale issues, so needy crew right away. Uh, well, we need we need the money here. So, what do we want to do? Clothing, sell it. Basic medicine, good profit. Not the best I've ever done. We actually could have potentially gotten a contact here, but see, now, we, now we've got some credits. That's how you want to do it. Anytime you can use this extra cargo, that would be great. So before we do this, Let's go return this person. Those are spice merchants to the officer and nearest local security checkpoint. From there, the local authorities will assume responsibility. And we have tactic skill. Apparently, apparently we're having some issues here. So, we need to turn this person over. We successfully passed the tactics with wisdom test. The officer on duty is here to checkpoint. React promptly and call the reinforcements as we arrive. The meeting is terse to the point where our business is completed. So, spice merchant away. We get paid 6000 so we have another contact here. That's why I said you get a prince early. You don't got to worry about a prince so much. So let's see what you have. We can go ahead and discuss future work, but I want to court some missions. I want to be able to get some rep upgraded with him because, quite frankly, we want to get some uh, trade permits because we can actually get one right now. It costs some personal rep, and we need to have minimum influence, which we have. 
but you can see that uh, we can actually purchase the next one as well to be a free trader or a spice trader right now. But let's go ahead and court some missions. What do you have available? Once again, he only has one of one missions right here. One pays like crap. Let's see if we can get a better pay. One also pays like crap. And he's not going to let us get any more, but we're, we have to prove ourselves here. Uh, carry a sealed crate or carry a data cube. Both of these are to Hydra Tri-C. So let's do the one that pays more. Cool. So, to that effect, what is, and can we, we can actually check the, uh, the star map here. So, Hydra Tri-C, you have a mission here, it is an industrial place, so flying over to industrial is not the most exciting because we're not going to have a ton of things on demand, but maybe we can get something along the way. Like, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and set this for a waypoint. So all the way down here. Can we stop anywhere along the way and kind of sell some good stuff? Let's land. Alright, to the exchange with you. Okay. Well, these are in demand and industrial. That's not bad. That's also not bad. That's also not bad. We can sell raw spice with a permit, but we can get busted here pretty hard if their trade law doesn't allow them to actually get it. But it is in demand and industrial if they'll buy it. Let's go ahead and take up some of our cargo. Surely you can find a place to unload this. And although this is a better margin, this will give us some better stuff. So hydrocarbon crude. We're just trying to flip as much money as we can right away. So I could stop at a farming stop, but let's see. Let's see where else we can go. Or actually, you know, we're about a pretty good time to stop here. So I'm going to stop for now. And we'll start our next time by flying over to Hydra tri -C, where we have a mission available. We actually have some more contacts at other places if we look at our map right now. I do want to make it down to the refining area because we do have another contact that we have not visited yet. And that's going to be worth our time just to try and get some more missions running. And we have other planets that we can explore as well. But that's it for now. This is Asher with uh, Star Traders Frontiers. It's its own interesting kind of game where you, you just kind of dive in, play, go from there. But hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. And we will continue this in the future. Take care.